Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, last week I showed you my 2020 planner setup and you may have noticed that it was missing one of the sections that I had previously last year. Um, and that's because I've actually, I never thought that I would be a multiple planner kind of person, but I am trying it. Um, and this today is my happy planner mini. Um, it's a little bit DIY that I'm going to be using as my content planner and sort of projects. Um, this is going to live here on my desk at home and then uh, basically just be for the things that I do when I'm at home. Um, basically the, the way this started, I'll tell you the story. I was, you just get to wash my hands. Um, I was rocking the baby in the morning when she was like getting up too early and we were just kind of, you know, cozy and it was lovely. And then I was thinking about the things that I wanted my planner to be because I had just been working on planner stuff. So I was still thinking about it. And I was thinking the problem with a lot of my projects um, is that it's hard for me to do stuff that requires like sitting down and researching something. Um, because I'll, you know, sit there and I'll try to take notes, but like the pocket size pages, there's just not a lot of room for taking notes. So basically what I was thinking is that I wanted something slightly larger. Um, and without like the rings, like these discs are smaller than the rings. So I think this is good. Um, and it's slightly bigger. This is specifically great for taking notes. This is my thought is that, for example, I'll just, I'm going to move through this backwards. This is the this third and final tab in here. And it's got <laughs> currently like the, this is what a project page used to look like in my pocket size. Look how small that is. And so I was like, let me take some notes about like how much, you know, area we need to excavate. This is for our backyard project and you know, um, the kind of materials we need, blah, blah, blah. Am I going to need a second piece of paper? How, you know, how big is this going to be that I need more space? And I can't take notes very well. And so the idea is that projects like this are going to go here in this section. Now I'm going to start over from the beginning because obviously I'm very good at structuring a video. Welcome. This is my flip through of what I have set up so far. This isn't going to be a pretty YouTube planner, um, so it is planning my YouTube stuff. This isn't the one I'm going to be showing you a lot. Um, I'll probably come back to it every so often to show you updates of how it's going, but I'm not aiming to make this pretty. Um, and it's not 100% set up yet because I wanted to show it to you before it had like sensitive information in it. So first of all, this is the cover that I got from Michael's. I am at some point going to be showing you my trip to Michael's. Um, because I had a request from Marushka of my summer touch to show like what Michael's looks like. Look out for that video coming up in the next few weeks, hopefully. So this is a, a Mambi cover. This here is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I laminated to the same dimensions and punched. So the idea here is you open up and right away, this is going to be my Kanban board. Um, sometimes I find that the Kanban method works for me. That's where you take the sticky notes and I haven't pulled out the sticky notes yet, but, um, I'm going to put, um, doing on this side and done on this side, or maybe the other way around doing done. And then this is the to do. So those are the three sections to do doing and done. I have it backwards. I have it on two places so that I'm not looking at what's upcoming. I'm only looking at what ha needs to get done today and what I've already gotten done. Um, so for times when I feel like I need that method for productivity, this is going to be my Kanban board. I might still put, I'm, I'm thinking of putting like a header here, like in Sharpie, but then the idea of like putting Sharpie on this that like, that I paid money for, I kind of like, eh, I don't know. If anyone has experience with using just like rubbing alcohol to remove Sharpie from a laminated page, tell me if that works. Because if I know that that works well, then I won't worry about it and I can just take it off if I need to. Then we turn and this is the first tab. It says planners got a plan, which, you know, whatever. And it has polka dots in the back, which that's cute. So this is the section that used to be in the pocket planner. And basically because I didn't want to spend money on new inserts yet, uh, not knowing how the size was going to pan out for me, I just took the pocket size and sized it up. So everything is just a little bit chunkier here. Um, and so that's what we've got currently. But I, um, if this, format works for me. I will probably invest in some 
um, inserts that are more appropriately sized for this. It looks like from Peanuts Planner Co. that would be um, probably the personal wide size. These pages are four and five eighths by seven inches. So anyway, this is the schedule for the month of January of when vid I haven't actually had put headers here. I'll do that now. This is uh, YouTube videos, Instagram posts, uh, blog posts, and my newsletter. And I just put a check once it's like scheduled and ready to go. So this is how I've been doing it for the last like two months and it's worked for me. This is just a quick glance to like know that peace of mind, like your videos and stuff are done for this week. So if you don't get anything done this weekend, it's okay. You can relax. Um, and then this is my next action items for channel related stuff. And then these gold planning inserts, which um, I haven't migrated stuff into it yet because I wanted to show you, but the, it's, it's the exact same. Like I said, I just sized it up. Um, these are where I keep track of sort of short to midterm goals for my planner channel um, and Instagram, social medias. Um, so that's where these go. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what they look like. And then this one here in last year, I had three separate inserts of the 52 weeks, um, like insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And that was where I was keeping track of my video and blog topics. Here I decided to put them all on one insert and this is a fold out from the undated yearly bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, again, just sized up as much as I could fit it. And so you'll see it's like a little bit narrower, but whatever. Um, so this looks good. And basically each line, you know, I have it highlighted in green and teal for my Thursday and Sunday videos and then in blue for my blog posts. So that's what the, um, you can kind of pause and take a look at what the schedule is coming up for the next month. Um, and then that will fit my entire year on one insert. So I can kind of like the transition from one month to another is always a little bit difficult um, because you have to sort of uh, just moving from like one insert to another or whatever. That transition period always feels a little bit fraught. I know that is something that also speaking of Marushka, she was mentioning that a lot in her Facebook group that she's trying to figure out ways to like work in those transitions between months. Me personally, I still like a monthly setup, but um, I think having some of these inserts that are for the whole year might help with that as well. Cause I can just keep going in the next month when I'm ready to. Then um, a page where I will put my video ideas. I also haven't migrated those yet, but those are <laughs> on this insert here that I just took straight out of, here I'll show you, you can see, took it straight out of my, pocket planner and then punched it with the Mambi punch. So it's got both on there. I think it would fit in both. I feel like this isn't a terrible idea um, because it would still work in my my ring planner, but it also fits in here. It's not pretty and it wouldn't be great. It wouldn't last super long if I was pulling it in and out, but there you go. That's what's in here. Then the second tab, it's got discs on one side and the words plans are dreams in the making on the other. Do you find that inspirational? Because I, neutral, I don't know. All right, so these are a couple of things that have already come out. So you'll get to, yay, look at that. I'm filming it before these have gone out, but by the time this video goes out, this is old news, so it's not a spoiler. Um, these are like project pages for videos and blog posts and whatever. So this is a project page for my December newsletter. So it's just like an outline of these are the things that I'm going to include in it. And so I can just pull this out and like draft from that or whatever, take notes and use the piece of paper. There's all of this paper and I can just toss it out because I have no personal attachment to all of this paper that came with it. This is just like the, the happy planner notes or whatever. It just comes with note paper and three times. So, and then this one is my December favorites. Um, you watching this will already know what the fifth one is, but I don't because I'm planning to put my fifth, the fifth one will be, um, the favorite gift that I receive. And I don't know what that is yet because I'm filming this early and yeah, that's some notes for a video that have, I haven't migrated over yet. And pretty much that's it. There's just a lot of blank paper in here. 
and I have this plan. So yeah, the third tab, by the way, it just says just a girl who loves to plan. I mean, I guess that's technically true. And it has grid on the back. And then this page, actually, this is important too. This is the idea that I'm hoping will keep me sane um, between my two different planners. And I have the same setup, a similar setup to this in my main planner. Um, I couldn't decide what to call this. Like, I think I've settled on calling it a content planner. But before I was like, because it also has projects. It's my home planner, my desk planner, whatever. Let's just give it a name. So I decided I'm naming this Hermione. I forgot to introduce you at the beginning. Hi, guys. This is Hermione. Because whatever. And um, then I decided, well, okay, what do I call the main one then? Uh, I got to give that a name too. So that one's Arthur. Not Arthur Weasley. Arthur Dent. Anyway, so the idea is I have here, this is just like an inbox, right? So or like a brain dump page. So if I need it, it's just right here next to the tab. Anything that needs to move from here to here. So it's like a task that's not getting done at home on one of these projects or videos or whatever. Um, I can put that here until I'm ready to, you know, migrate back and forth. And then the same way, like if anything is coming from here one side to the other. So this is like holding, ready to move it over, and then I'll move it to the page that says from Hermione in my Arthur planner. And then, you know, migrate it where it needs to go in that planner system from there. Obviously, like not every bit of information needs to take all these steps, but this is just breaking those steps down so that I feel like I won't lose anything. So there's always at least there's somewhere that's like the lowest common denominator place to place some information, you know, an inbox that can be sorted later. So I just feel more comfortable knowing that there's like, there's a catch all as a backup. All right. That was very wordy. And I hope that that was useful for you. If you're still looking at your um, 2020 setup and planner system and maybe trying to revamp things for the new year. Maybe this gave you a couple of ideas. Maybe you just think I'm crazy for, for picking up a second planner when I have never been a multiple planner kind of person. Um, maybe you think I'm crazy for, I don't know, using happy planners. How do you feel about discs? I definitely, I wanted to make sure to get a smaller one like this that has these smaller discs because I do have those massive discs from when I tried out the micro note size. But those are like the big ones and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll grow into them. But like having giant discs on a very small, it was pretty thin because I didn't have much in there. Uh, it made it harder to use. It made it feel like I didn't enjoy it. So these are appropriately sized rings or discs. That's why I'm not taking out all this extra note paper because it feels better when it's a little bit sizable. So anyway, yeah, that's where I am. That's what's going on. Um, if you are interested in these kinds of videos, then join the team. Welcome. Um, subscribe and the button down there. And I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.